This week we're going to look at a different workflow within Ableton. So we've built up our musicianship skills and we've been using this session view to kind of record those clips. And it's a really fantastic tool to actually just record the clips. But when, when we want to get our arrangements down, we need to move over to the arrange window. So over in this top corner here, you can see that you can just press on this button and it will change the arrange view. And you can press on this button and it will go back to the session view. Okay. So this is kind of like the timeline. This is more conventional with most other doors like Cubase and Logic and Pro Tools. So the idea being is you've got this timeline and your clips and your recordings can go on on this, this particular area and be arranged however you want them to be. So as you can see from these tracks here, we've got our drums. And if we go back to the session view, you can see we've got our drums, we've got our bass, and we can see we've got our bass now selected. And this is where the similarities kind of uh, remain the same, but this is where it's gonna all change, okay? So we can still get our devices, just like we did before, down here. However, the clips are not gonna be available because it's a different workflow, okay? We can, however, use those clips we recorded and put them into the, into the timeline. But first, just so just going through, making sure that you know you can see that all of our devices are there, and that's how they that's how they act. So if you've got a clip, say on the drum channel, and then when you import it, you move it to the bass channel, you've got to appreciate that it's not going to sound the same. Okay. Just a quick shortcut before we go any further. It's quite a tedious chore, kind of keep coming over to here and flicking between these two views to kind of grab your clips and vice versa. A, a, a command key that you're gonna to wanna to get used to is the tab key. Now the tab key on your keyboard is just above the cap locks on most keyboards. And if you press tab, you can toggle between these two views, okay? So let's just let's just do this. So we're just clicking the tab. We're back in session view, and we're going to start arranging our music. Now, hopefully, if you did the homework, you're going to have all these lovely patterns that you can kind of start arranging. And that's absolutely fine. So we're just going to look at how to drag and drop these clips into the window, okay, or into our arrangement. So here's the drum from next to me. Now, if I click and hold so at the moment I've clicked my left mouse button and I'm just holding it if I do this at the same time as pressing tab you'll notice that I can then move this to wherever I want okay and it's a drum part so we just want to move it to the drum track okay so how that let me just undo that and just do it one more time so let's press tab and we're back into this device view sorry into the sequence of view session view and we're going to want one of these. So let's click on this one. Now click, hold, press tab. And now you can move that wherever you want. So it's a drum track. So let's just drop it onto the drum view. Okay. Tab again. Now we've got a bass one. Let's do the same thing again. So we'll grab this bass clip. We'll click and hold. And we'll press tab. And then we'll drag it. And we'll put it onto our bass track. Let me show you what happens if you take this drum track and you put it on a keyboard part, for instance. So let me just delete this one. So select it and press delete. And listen to this. Okay, and that was the thing that I was saying to you, is these remain the same. Everything else is a different workflow. But the actual tracks maintain our devices, okay? So let me just move it up one and you'll see it, how it sounds on a bass instrument. And I'm just navigating using this kind of play and stop bar here. Okay, now let's move it back onto the drum track and hear how it sounds there. Okay, so for instance, if you think to yourself, I, can, I want this to last for eight bars, you've got these handles again. So you can drag it around, but you're gonna get these handles. Let me just put it here. So at, at the end, you have this bracket, and if you click, it will make it loop, okay? And then at the beginning, you have this handle. So now we have that clip that lasts exactly nine bars. And so on and so forth. Okay, so there's the first way of importing. Let me show you another way of getting our clips. So that was just by clicking the tab and clicking and holding. Now, you can also copy clips. So if you select it, and press Control C on a PC or Command C on a Mac, and that copies. You can also right click and copy as well. So right click, copy, 
and then tab over to this view. Now, wherever you've got your playhead, and I'm just moving the playhead just by clicking on any of these clips, okay? So because I'm in this window, when I import, it's gonna drop it into this view here. If I was in this window, it's gonna drop it right here. Where my playhead is, is gonna be the start, and it's gonna drop it on this channel. So let's click up here, and let's press right click, and you can then just paste it in. Okay, so right click, paste, okay? Or on a PC it's Control C, on a Mac it's con sorry com Control V, and on a Mac it's Command V, and you can just paste it in like that. Okay, so that's another way of doing it. Let me just show you one more way. Let me get rid of all these. So we we'll tab back. Now this time you can multiple select by pressing the Shift button, which is just below the cap lock. You can Shift click on all of these. So Shift click, Shift click, Shift click. Okay, with all these selected, we can right click and copy, tab back over to this window. Now, we're gonna say we want it here, but it will drop them onto all of these channels, okay? So right click, paste. And there you go, we have our whole window, our whole sequence pasted in. So if we wanna move this around, we can do that. If we wanna unselect them, we can move them individually, we can do that. So this is quite nifty and it's... Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Let's just make these drum patterns the same length as all these. You can still loop select everything as well and drag them all out. So let's go for our nine bar loop. So that's pretty much all I wanna do in this lesson, is just show you how to take your clips and put them into the arrange window. Okay, in the next lesson, I'm gonna show you how to take those clips and record them into the arrange window.